Hello, my name is Nikki, and welcome by this webinar about the flat decking. Today we're going to show you how easy it is to measure a flat decking with the ProLiner and to edit this in our special software at the Draw Advanced. This is specially made for our decking companies around the whole world. If you want to have more information about a curved decking, you can go to our website and there you see the webinar of the curved decking. In the decking package, we have of course the ProLiner included. A tripod, batteries, personal training, and of course the Draw Advanced software with a permanent license. And of course we are there to support you with all your questions. In the next movies, we're also going to show you how easy it is to measure it with our special IPT. We're going to explain you later in the movies. So, if we go to measure a decking, we do it step by step. We go to show you how easy it is to move the ProLiner to a new position with the leap function and how easy it is to measure it. So no more tape on board or no more foil that blows away of the wind. You can easily start to measure with the ProLiner. Because a lot of customers or maybe new customers are watching this movie, here are the settings that you go to use when you start to measure your project. Before you start measuring, always check your settings because maybe it's standing on the last setting that you used yesterday. If you start to measure with the pointer, press pan on pointer. The contours are always open. We work with non-compensation. Projection multiple planes and on first contour and layer. You're going to see later why. And also offset plane. If you check your settings, after that you can press and start. Here we go. You don't need to level the pro liner. You can put it on the boat, put it on the tripod, wherever you want. If the boat is moving now, also no problem. Move the measure head. Start with the first points for the first contour. Can be three can be four or five or more. It's the widest possible on your project. The first contour you always finish with button number three and then you can start measuring. You are measuring not the machine. So physical, you touch the point that you need. For a circle, three points are enough. From point to point, you make a straight line. You can finish the line with button number three. And for a radius, you take three points again. Every small detail you can easily measure with the ProLiner. We don't have problems with reflection. We can measure on steel, we can measure on a black background, doesn't matter. So again, by a radius, take more points. You will see later on in our draw advance how easy it is to draw a circle or relax the line. We go to move the machine now to a new position. We need four reference points that we also can touch in the new position. Like here, it can be a screw on board. You 
just press button number one. And of course it's important if we move the machine that we can reach this four points again. We press on create. We close the measure head. Move the pro runner to a new position. And before you start to connect the leap function, check if you can reach the four points. And of course the next part of your measurement. Let me check before you start. Turn the head around and good to go again. It doesn't matter if you do one, two, three, four again, you also can hit point two, three, four, and one. And if you measure point number four, you see it on your screen, here we go. Distance, this one is in inches, 0 0.03 between the four points. So for people in Europe, maybe it's gonna stand like 0 0.2 millimeters different. So it's great, the leap function. We're gonna move the machine to the lower deck now. So we're gonna leap it again. This one is a tape with a cross on it. So we're gonna measure multiple planes in the same measurement. Press on create, move the machine to a new position, close your measure head. Now maybe we use the leap function in this movie two or three times, but you can use it so much if you want. And you see the boat is moving, no problem for the ProLiner. Hold button number three longer to create a new layer and start again with your first contour points. On the left button of your screen, on the pro liner, you see also layer 2 standing. The first contour, so wide as possible on your project. Press 3 to finish the first contour 
and you can start measuring again. So sometimes it's not possible to reach a point with the normal pointer. The normal pointer is the one that he's using now. To reach the last points, we have a special tool we call it the IPT. You can really easily screw it on the pointer. He's gonna use it now. Go to settings, you can have the IPT 200, 400, 600 or 800 millimeters. If you change in one measurement from the pointer to the IPT, always press 3 before you press on settings. If you don't press 3, so finish the last contour, then you cannot change from pointer to IPT. He's going to use the 400 one now. You need to have five points. So like north, south, east, west and one in the middle. One, 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 one in the middle and hold button number one longer. And you see how easy it is to reach some points that you not can reach with a normal pointer. Don't try to measure your whole project with the IPT, but just the last points. Press button number three. Press settings and change it again to pointer. Use the leap again. And of course you can leap it to the back as well. Look at this. You can send it with your mobile phone already to the office that your color can start already with measuring and editing, of course, this file. Take some pictures to make it easier for your colleague. Select the DXF file, we select the pictures, send it with WhatsApp, send it with your email. And here you go. There they are.
So that was really easy to measure a flat decking. Of course, now we sent the files to the office and now we're going to show you in the next movies how to edit it in our special Pro Advanced software. We have special tools to relax the line, to make a circle and to pattern your project. Here you see a little, a little bit the step by step, but of course you're going to see it in the next movie. We sent also the pictures but a colleague who is going to edit in is going to see what is what. He knows what to do now. And there you have the pro line of file, press on draw and we can start editing it. We measured it in multiple planes, so you see a 3D view, call every layer a name, main deck, bow deck, to make it yourself much easier. The first contour lines, we delete them. The original points are still there on the back side, so you see them. So we delete a little bit the radius because later on we're going to draw a nice circle above the original point. Trim the corners. You can stretch them. Or you can fill in how much radius you want. You always remember the last one. These are in inches. stretch it till the original point of course later on we're gonna do the offset but this is just a little bit cleaning the draw Draw a circle, so with three points is enough. You can fill in 360 degrees, so he's closing the circle. With the flex function, you see, it's a special function, specially made for decking. So you can pull it. Pressure line, pressure line. And pull it again. And in the red, numbers you see the difference between the point that you measured and the new line that you create.
can do an offset because we measure now against the side of the boat to the outside line we want to make it a little bit smaller so if you fill in minus he goes to the left now if you fill plus then he goes to the right But you also can pull the offside to the side that you want. You see, we press one time a line on the left side of your screen in the software. You see which contour is getting black. You put it on like you see now and you select them all. If you hold control on your keyboard, you can touch more lines. Delete the old ones that you don't need anymore. Look how easy this goes. Make the line just longer. Give this layer a name. And start with your design. See, he remembers the last setting. Draw a new point or a new line. If you see a red dot, it's a new line. So on the left side of your screen, you can move the new line to the other ones, and then it will connect it for you. When it's orange on the left side of your screen by contour, that means that it's open. When it's blue, you have a closed shape. See how easy it is doing it. Just press one line. On the left side, on your software, you can select that contour really easy.
go. So select the inside contour, the left side, you see it, they get black. They're all selected. Create a new layer for the patterns. So we have the inside and the outside as a different layer. And the first part is done and we're gonna repeat it by this one. So you see how fast it goes, how easy it is to edit a file. So we don't have thousands of functions that you need to edit your file. On the left side you see what functions you need. You don't need more. And of course with the basic training of ProDim, we show you how easy it goes and how it works. Relax it again with our fillet function. If you press on your mouse on the right side, on the right test, then you have the last free function. Make it going smooth. new lines, put them all together, give your layer a name, simplify your points,
select the inside again, create a new layer, give it a new name. The outside lines, the inside lines to create a pattern. This button, you can make it flat again, that they're on one level. Outside lines. Now we have the pattern lines for you. You can create a piece to create a DXF file. So select all your lines, for all your project, press on create piece. Our library with a lot of examples, but of course, in your own library, you you can create new patterns, move it like you want, select a new one. Of course, you can import files with maybe a nice picture of a dolphin. So zoom in. You press on your left button of your mouse, the lines are there. Create a new PDF file for the production. So two different layers, two different files. You can import in your own library material or give it a color. And of course, it's nice to send this to the customer. If you want to publish it, here you share the file. The XF file needs to be on. And you're done. So we showed you in this movie how easy it was to edit your files in our Draw Advance. This specially software was made for decking is also included in our package. And of course, we give you private training and your support. If you go to our social media, to our LinkedIn, to our Insta or our Facebook, you can see a lot of projects of your colleagues all over the world. But of course, if you want to have more information or personal quotes, go to our website and don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks a lot. See you next time.